so you reached the mountain gate. I really hope that this time we won't die. We won't get a bad ending. This is the final choice. If we go on, it will end. But if we go back, I might be able to find a way to avoid losing her. Saber. I stop and turn back to Saber. Saber is the same as always. A tense stare with a composed expression. The moment I see it, all kinds of temptation attack me. Like, let's run away. Like, if I don't want to lose her, I can go back. She would accompany me if I wished. My determination wavers. The temptation rises in my throat. But I stop it. I declare that as a master, just as I always have. So but not silently. Her eyes are strong-willed as always. So, I won't have any regrets. As she believes in me, I still will believe that my choice is correct. We start for the mountain gate. We head into the battle with no return. I couldn't say anything. And I couldn't tell her what I really wanted to tell her. But I want to believe that this silence was able to tell her my feelings. The long stairs we climbed together. This is our final memory. Oh, this is difficult. This was even be two minutes. This is our final memory of our time together. Red light fills the mountain top. The blowing wind is getting stronger and it seems the source of it is that light coming from the back of the ground. The red phos phosphorus scatters on the wind, and the ground is too bright for night time. Stagnant air filled with the presence of death. This is like the fire back then, but it isn't like that. With all this red light, something is about to emerge on the back of the building. A black darkness oozing in a bright red. It is clearing. It's like a clear lake. That mud is like an oil spill. But it spreads, stains the ground, and does not kill anything it swallows. It's like a visible curse. I'm a maker still. I can sense that the thing only reacts to the human mind, and only swallows human bodies. He is there, within all the rich colors, ignoring the blood red and the death stained black. The servant clan and gold is waiting for us. No, we're Saber in the middle of this place. この呪いこそが聖杯の中。我らサーバンとこの世にとどめる第三要素。10年前、お前が俺に浴びせたものだ。Gilgamesh is only looking at Saber. It goes to save for Saber. He takes a step forward and points a sword at the knight in front of her. Because I cried, my throw this all dry. Gilgamesh. 
あなたの目的は何だあの呪い聖杯と偽っていたものを使って何を望む望みなどないと言っただろう琴峰が聖杯をどう扱おうと俺は知らん今のところ俺の関心はお前だけだ As if it answered to Saber, the Golden Knight raises his hand. At the same time, the air behind him sways like a haze. King's treasure, hundreds of noble phantasms, are loaded like bullets. I can't wait to see that animated, to be honest. Ah, you yak kono toki ga kita ka. Ima made zutto kangae te ita zo, Saber. Um, that's just wrong. Naki Musebuka, O Fumitske, Sono Karada, O Somenuk Hodono Doro, Nomase, Modae Shinuni Taikirez, Oreno Ashimoto Nisugaritsk, Sono Kegare Kitta Sugata Ona. Yoku Hita Naraba. その身が同じ末路をたどろうと異論はないな英雄を Another step Saber steps into range of the many noble phantasms This isn't a battle I can do anything about A battle between Saber and Gilgamesh is something no human can interfere with <laughs> それでこそセイバーよ俺には勝てないと知った上でなおその気概宴の終わりを飾るにふさわしいが Except now Saber has her sheath as well。邪魔はいらぬ。そこの雑種。琴峰に用があるのなら早々に消えろ。やつは祭壇で貴様を待っている。Tumine is waiting. I glance at Saber. She knows while looking at Gilgamesh. Her figure tells me that she's wishing me her best. I turn around. The one I need to face isn't here. Behind me, as I run, I hear the battle start. At the back of the building, behind the main temple, is a large lake. Touched by humans. The lake is holy, as if a dragon king lives in it. The clear blue water is pure, and the lake isn't even murky. But that's all in the past. The lake now has none of these characteristics. The red light is in front of my eyes, and the sea of black tar, and. The void created in the air, and the girl presented as a sacrifice. Kotomine. My calm mind instantly goes over the limit. I stop and glare at my enemy. Yoku kita na emi ya shiro. Saigo made nokotta tada hitori no mastai. He smiles sarcastically and opens his arms to welcome me. This is the site of our battle. This is the altar of the summoning in the, this Holy Grail War. Iria, o Orose, o mai o buchi no mesu no wa sono ato da. I glare at Kotomine. Just about ten meters between us. The fight will begin if I move another step. I don't know what kind of magus Kotomine is, but I assume. He will use some kind of projectile weapon like Zotaka. In comparison, I can only punch him. Even though I have the dagger Doska gave me, it's useless unless I get near him. Once the fight starts, I have to run straight at him and stab his chest. But first, I have to do something about Ilya. Oh, I. 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 I.
いい年して子供をいじめて何が楽しい気持ちはわかるがそれはできない相談だな聖杯は現れたがその穴は未だ不安定だ接点である彼女には命の続く限り耐えてもらわねば私の願いは叶わない。Until she dies, then Ilya is still alive. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm g o i n o お前にはこれが私の望みに見えるわけかさすがは切り継ぐの息子だな、so, does that imply that the wish is so I would say fake but、uh, what's the right word that this wish can be interpreted by よもや二代にわたって思い違いを続けるとは。だとは。この泥は私の手によるものではない。これは聖杯より溢れる力本来は万能であるはずの無色の力だ。それを黒く染めるなど人の力ではできん。この聖杯はな、はじめからこうなのだ。開けてしまえば最後。再現なく溢れ出し最悪を巻き起こすそれがこの聖杯の正体だ<笑>この中にはあらゆる悪性人の世を分け隔てなく呪うものが詰まっている、so、the biggest question is what happened to it? そることなど誰にもできん。ことみねお前の望みは何だ Maybe all the wishes get some words either way, like some kind of. Um, what's the right thing? You know, like、uh, the Monogatari series. そうだな。強いて言うならば、娯楽だよ。わからないのか例えば音楽だ歌を楽しいと思うのはなぜだと思うエミアシロ<笑>なんだってそんなでは本はどうだ物語が人を引きつけるのはなぜだと思う Why? I've never thought about it. そう
考えるまでもないあらゆる娯楽人間を喜ばせるものそれらが楽しいのは単に人間が作ったものだからだ良いかあらゆる創造物は人間のうちより生じるもの詰まるところこの世で最も愉快なものとは人間に他ならないむき出しの人間こそが最高の娯楽となるそれに比べれば彼らが生み出す娯楽など二次的なものだそう音楽も物語も愛憎も憐憫も信頼も裏切りも道徳も背徳も幻想も真実も全て全て抱きすべき不純物に過ぎんそのようなもの所詮は残りかすに過ぎぬ二流の娯楽私が楽しみたいのは人間そのものでなそのような余分なものなどもはや口に合わん。そのためには営みなどという贅肉はそぎ落とさなければならない。そうまとうというものがあるだろう。それと同じだ人間は死の瞬間にのみ価値がある生存という助走距離を持って高く飛び空に届き尊く輝くものその瞬きこそが私の望みだそれがお前の求めた質問の答えだお前たちが平穏を糧にするようにこの身は星の光を食べて生きている10年前の火災は悪くなかった小規模ではあったが通常ではありえない刺激に満ちていたからなそう私が望むものなどその程度だあのような地獄にこそ魂の炸裂人における最高のきらめきがあるそれはお前自身も体験したことではないかなエミヤシロどうだ無念のまま朽ちる人間の叫びは胸に迫るものがあっただろう<笑> Don't talk shit That time, that hell, can't be contained with just that one sentence. Rikai してくれたか。いびつな形ではあるが、私ほど人間を愛しているものはいない。故に、私ほど聖杯にふさわしい人間もいまい。Chris laughs in satisfaction, as if. As if he thinks that event where people died in vain is wonderful from the bottom of his heart. So you got to go. I concentrate on my feet. I put my powers into my legs. About to jump forward. Smarty. Corrosed the end of it. Tell me. I jump forward with all my might. It's about 10 meters to him. I go straight at him and. I jump sideways. This is the result of my instincts of not wanting to die. The passing my desire to kill him. I roll sideways and onto the ground. I stop instantly and look up. <laughs> I 
look at the place I was running over. A sound of burning. The burning sound is coming from the black mud. Stretching out from the lake. It's like a black carpet. But slashed like a whip. Attacking me as I went after Cotimine. I left a mark on the ground. いいわせてたが、すでにお前は私の射程に入っている。加えてこれは生き物に敏感でな。How is it then that Otimine won't be attacked by that very same mud? By that logic, I'm wondering if he's even alive at this point. I jumped to avoid the black mud mercilessly attacking me. Screw moving carelessly. He is ready to kill me. <laughs> I stand up, still keeping watch over the lake. The distance to Kotimine hasn't changed. That means the stand meters is as near as he wants me to get. But that tentacle of mud stretches without limit. It will come after me if he wants it to. And I'm sure there are more than one. Oh. やる気かそれは喜ばしいこのまま立ち去るのならこの仕様がなかったがお前本人が争うのであれば問題はない何しろこれでも神に使えるみだ助けを求める者を殺めるわけにもいかなくてなよく言う人を背中から襲った奴が
It overwhelms the opponent and he hesitates, but she keeps attacking. The sword keeps moving. It has destroyed rocks and pierced through walls, but... See? Every blow is blocked by weapons appearing from behind him. Hey! Shitsukoi! Escaping danger. The Golden Knight, Gilgamesh, has another sword in his hand. <coughs> it is easy to repel that weapon, but you cannot block it straight on. All of the enemy's weapons have unknown abilities. It would be suicidal to block it without knowing its ability. Saber jumps back out of range and catches her breath. Gilgamesh raises himself unhurriedly. Gilgamesh shows no fatigue. For him, this battle is just entertainment. There must be no fatigue or strain when he knows he is going to win. But it's different for Saber. For her, this moment is her only chance of victory. Before her enemy becomes serious, she has to defeat Gilgamesh before he takes out Ea, or she will be the one defeated. This is why she has continued to attack without a thought for saving her energy. She has cornered the enemy like this more than a few times, but still, she could never get past this wall of noble phantasms. <laughs> あるじに忠誠を誓うのはいいが、それも限度があろう。今頃あの雑誌は琴峰に殺されている。もはやお前が戦う理由はなかろうよ。私の主は健在だ。あのようなマスター相手に白が膝をくするなどありえない。それも時
She selects the best choice by instinct and follows that view. But right now she cannot even feel it with her instincts. Probably because the probability of victory is so low and the chance of a comeback is pretty much zero. <laughs> but still she must fight. Shiro, who abandoned his protection, to give her back her she. She cannot be defeated here by him. So, ka. Doyara, kette te kina haibok de na kereba na toku ga ikanu to mie. More weapons appear. They move without Gilgamesh touching them, and they aim at Saber. Weapons whose handles were only visible before. All show blades now, in the way their masters are there. This is the nice way of fighting. From the beginning, Gilgamesh has never been a swordsman. These noble phantasms are produced in the air and become bullets at their master's command. This is why he is called Archer. The servant is an archer. With the strongest arrows. Umaku yokero? Nani? Unga yokereba. Teashi o kushizas teedo de aro! With one command, the cosmic reign of swords begins. Each one has fatal power. She lose every one of them like a falling leaf, a sword from the front, a spear from the left, a ball arm from below and above, a three edge sword arcing and attacking from behind, a swing from her hammer bigger than she is, she blocks, repels, dodges and twists her body away from the last attack. <laughs> Breathing hard, Saber regards the stance she was driven out of. In that instant, she sees them behind her enemy, behind Gilgamesh. No phantasms are already produced. 47 of them. She jumps full force. Many Noble phantasms stab into the ground. As not to let her escape. In the reign of Noble phantasms, she is hit time after time. Oh no. Her armor is destroyed, her guns with spears, and even the pieces covering her feet are pierced. Saber manages to avoid a fatal wound, even in this danger, but then sees the worst thing possible on the other side of the reign of noble phantasms, as if to finish off a fleeing enemy. Gilgamesh is pulling out his favorite sword. She stops her jump. She lands right away and pours magic energy into her body. Into her body, into her holy sword. So this is a rematch, Aya versus Fitzcalabar. But will it be in time? Wind roars, the blade of light is revealed, and she raises her sword without waiting for the wind to fully unseal. She do does not even bother with the reign of noble phantasms and sends her holy sword with all the speed possible. But it is too late. Pulling through his own noble phantasms, Gilgamesh swings his sword 